Uh, yeah, my name is Nick Wilson. I'm the creative principal of the Half and Half, um, a design shop in town that specializes in silkscreen and letterpress printing. Uh, at the Half and Half, we always like to start off with a, uh, uh, a poster. It uh, doesn't really matter if it's for a website or uh, a branding system or an event design. We always start with a poster. And uh, in the past six years, we've created over 4,000 of them. So I think we're pretty good at it. Um, so today, I'm going to teach you guys how we make a poster. Uh, it's pretty simple. Um, and uh, since we've, we've been doing it for so long, I, I, think, uh, I think this will be easy for all of you. Uh, the first step is to find a client with big ideas. Um, this is usually the hardest part of the whole entire process. Uh, but we were lucky enough to be asked by TEDx Columbia to create the posters and the other design collateral that you guys have. Um, so we were pretty lucky with that. Uh, the step two is to write everything down. Anything that the client says, anything that we say in a meeting, anything that uh, you just, you know, sort of just comes out. Um, and uh, so this is my artboard that I made for this poster. Uh, so I have everything on there, some crappy images from Google image search of fireworks and the sheep and everything. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, just, I just, you know, thought it would fit. Um, and uh, so once we have all that together, uh, that's, the hard, that, that, that's the second hardest part. Um, step three, it's just magic. Um, I can't really explain it any easier. It's just, that's just how it is. Uh, it's very, very simple. So what we do is we take that artboard, uh, take it into Photoshop, and we go up to Select All. So you get that whole thing, everything that you've written down. <laughs> and then we go right to the Adjustments panel and to Posterize. <laughs> There we go. Uh, most important step is after this. Um, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, it's a dry campus, and they uh, wouldn't let me have it in here. So maybe a little bit too early to celebrate anyway. Um, unfortunately, this is a day-to-day -day thing that we have to deal with with new clients. Uh, they constantly think that. Uh, since we're creatives, that we just sort of make this stuff happen. And I'm sure there's a lot of creatives in the audience today that has dealt with this uh, same problem constantly. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is how it really happens. Uh, in our shop, we uh, start off from anywhere from 25 to 30 uh, sketches, um, some more polished than others. Uh, and then as we, uh, as we cull those down in shop, um, we then go to the client with a few polished and refined uh, posters that we're really excited about. But these are just regular sketches of how we first started with, uh, with this project. And as it goes with client meetings and talking with them about what direction they would like and how, uh, how they think the process is going, we continually get closer and closer to a finished uh, piece um, that we're all happy with. So this is uh, you know, the, the first 12, and as we're getting closer and closer to the poster you guys saw in the lobby. Uh, at this point, we're only halfway done, though. Since we do everything in-house, all of our silkscreen and letterpress production is done underneath the same roof, uh, we then now have to go to production. So this is a, a simple time-lapse video of a, all joking aside, uh, very slow day in our shop. Uh, we are producing less than 1,000 posters this morning. And uh, for clients such as Dave Matthews, uh, the Felice Brothers, the TV show Fringe is in the background, uh, and also a DDC poster for Washington State. Uh, this was uh, you know, not, that, not that busy of a day, but still, we have to get all this out. Uh, the largest run that we've ever done was a few weeks ago. It was 2,800 prints. And uh, it was four colors. And to explain the process of silkscreen, you basically have an image that you burn onto a screen, and then ink passes through the screen onto uh, the substrate, uh, in this case, paper. Um, for instance, the TEDx poster that we worked on is three colors. And so each print has to be printed three times. So once for the gray, once for the red, then once for the black. So each time, it has to go through the press for each color. 
Um, the largest print run we ever did was with 2,800 prints. Uh, each color took five hours to put it in perspective. Uh, so that's even after all this other work of uh, design. Um, we can see my team here that we're, uh, uh, we, uh, we work together every day. They're all full time. Most of us went to USC for design. Um, others uh, have a background in production. And behind us, you can see a small sampling of posters. Uh, when we moved into our first or into our current shop, the uh, the production area was all white walls. It was very boring. We didn't want to spend money on paint when we already had all these posters to uh, put up around everything. So this was. At that line right there, that's about 125 posters on 18-foot high ceilings. Uh, that took about three weeks. Um, after about six months of being in the shop, we've produced over 600 prints, and now we're running out of wall space. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, oh, thank you very much. Sorry about that.